All right, halfway through the work week and let's talk about those weather headlines to get us through the next few days and into the weekend. We are still tracking some spotty afternoon showers again today and rain chances. They're going to be decreasing as we go through the rest of the work week, uh, but they are lingering for the next couple of days. Can't roll out some spotty showers and thunderstorms mainly during the afternoon hours, but that big blue H is going to be taking over. We show you that all the time during this time of the year. At some point we get these ridges of high pressure to build in and that's when we often get those stretches of dry hot weather. Well, we're at least going to see a stretch of uh, no rain chances. It looks like in uh, decreasing those while increasing the heat. Yeah, then we're going to see those temperatures increasing. Uh, we'll really start to see that as we go Thursday, Friday, but the heat's really going to take off as we go this weekend into next week. Could be the little stro uh, uh, hottest stretch of the year so far for 2021. Again, May, June into July. We've spent a lot of time below average uh, than we've spent up around average and certainly even beyond. We've had minimal days above the average uh, above average here over the last uh, several weeks. So uh, let's enjoy the nice weather while we can. We know the hot weather's coming August right around the corner and that's uh, certainly the hottest time of the year for us. But hey, we've been doing pretty nice for us the last few days. We're going to keep those rain chances around. This is the culprit. We're looking at this week upper level disturbance area of lift and it is uh, passing through actually from north northeast uh, to the southwest. Typically our uh, most of our disturbances are swinging in from the west or the northwest, but with high pressure and control, you can actually see the clockwise motion here across the four corners region. We're on the eastern periphery of that and this disturbance is uh, kind of being moved because of that uh, clockwise motion to the west. It's being uh, pulled to the southwest over top of us as it does so warm, muggy uh, conditions in place. Plenty of Gulf moisture should lead to some spotty showers in central Texas. Very isolated. Most of us stay dry. Uh, more of us are going to be dry than those that will see some showers. There we go. As we get into the afternoon hours, boom, they just kind of pop up there with the daytime heating. So mix the sun and clouds today. There you have it. Not everyone's going to see the rain similar to yesterday. The afternoon hour certainly going to be the better chance. And then our southern zones, I think you overall have Slightly better chance, but technically, yes, the better chance. A little better moisture content, a little deeper moisture content in the atmosphere. So that's why I'm giving you just a slightly better chance there. All right, a few more lower 90s should mix in today. Yesterday was mostly upper 80s. Again, a warming trend technically starts today because yesterday was the coolest day and we're going to be warming up, but it's really not that bad. We're just talking a degree or two warmer in most uh, cases compared to yesterday. Tomorrow, we will start nudging up a little bit more. It'll feel like the mid 90s because again, we can't get rid of that muggy air completely just yet. We will later as we go deeper into the year. All right, temperatures drop back into the 70s. Another seasonal quiet night as we go into Thursday morning. Again, low rain chances next few days. Temperatures start to tick up and take off into the upper 90s and some triple digits will likely likely mix in next week.